Hello, everybody, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play The Blackwell Legacy. Last time, we found out about a little someone called the Deacon, who's a spirit who's been bothering the three young women who have summoned him with a Ouija board. And that's why they've been committing suicide. So, uh, we need to do something about it. First, we're gonna save the girl at Washington Square Park, but, uh, just approaching her straight up hasn't been too, uh, successful. So we need to, uh, come up with a plan. And now she was wanting to become a vet, so perhaps a little doggy will help. That's, uh, kind of what she was going on about, though. She never said it directly that she wanted to touch them, that they kept avoiding her. She was talking about the puppies at the dog park. Anyway, before I do that, I want to talk to Joey some more. Joey! Yes? Can you tell me more about Auntie Lauren? I guess. What do you want to know? I don't know. Um, tell me about a case you went on. Hmm. It was a long time ago, but I do remember one. There was this brownstone down in Brooklyn. One of those fancy houses that got converted into apartments. The residents kept complaining of weird noises and bad dreams. Your aunt and I heard about it and went over there. Turns out, these two little boys had been locked in a basement closet over 30 years beforehand. The door was paved over. Nobody knew it was even there. Those two little ghosts had been crying in the dark for 30 years until we came along. That's horrible. Yeah, that, that was a messy one. How did you save them? We did some snooping, found the grandmother, brought her to the house. The boys calmed down and we took care of the rest. So you saved them? Yeah. We had no choice, did we? So yeah, our job is uh, kind of important. Do you remember when that picture was taken? Picture? Yeah, the one on the TV. Oh, the Brooklyn Bridge picture. You don't remember? I was five years old. Right, right. You tend to forget stuff like that when you're... Well, when you're me. So what about the picture? Oh, it was just one of your aunt's little field trips. One of many, I hasten to add. She wanted to take you all over the damn city and I could do nothing but tag along. Really? Yeah. I knew it was a bad idea. Why's that? Just leave it. But... Shut your mouth, kid. You're attracting flies. We'll talk about this later. Maybe. Don't be so mean, Joey. I'd like to talk about my grandmother again. I'll be frank, kid. She may have hated me, but I hated her even more. Hated her. The whole seven months I was with her, she spent the whole time pretending I wasn't there. Can you believe that? You're hard to ignore, Joey. <laughs> Tell me about it. And I did everything I could to get her attention. I'd yell in her ear, I'd get right up in her face. She knew I was there, and I knew she knew. But she just ignored me all the same. Well, you can hardly blame her. Don't lecture me, dollface. I did what I had to. Had to? You could have... Could have done what? Look, I'm done talking about that old bat. Maybe we'll talk more later, but not now. Yeah, I think Joey did have his reasons. Can you tell me anything else about the wedding? I don't know. There was music. The bride wore white. It was over 30 years ago. Just because I'm dead doesn't mean my memory is perfect. Okay, so that's all we can talk about the wedding, but we still have more about Auntie and Grandmother. So hopefully um, the next conversation will be the last, otherwise I may have uh, messed up that thing. And there's nothing else to know? Okay. Bye-bye. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. So, uh, maybe a little Mochi. You coming? Yeah, sure. Is that his name, Mochi? Can, uh, help us out in getting the ghost girl's attention. So let's, uh, visit Nishanti again. Come in! Hello again, Rosa. Come in! Are you all right, Rosa? You look a little preoccupied. I'm fine. That's odd. Moti never acts like that. Oh, jeez. In case you haven't noticed, some animals can sense me. Are you getting a good look, Mutt? Aww. Boo! Aw, poor Moti, not What's Mochi Moti. To you, Moti? I'm sorry, he must be sick or something. It's all right. So let's go talk to Nishanti. See if we maybe can take him out for a walk. You said yesterday that you sense things. Yes. Could you tell me more about that? 
Well, I'm not psychic or anything, if that's what you mean. I'm just observant. Anyone could tell something was wrong if they kept their eyes open. Speaking of which, care to tell me what's wrong? What do you mean? You look ill at ease, uncomfortable. The way your eyes keep moving back and forth. Is everything all right? Say you're fine, kid. I'm fine. Yep, everything's just dandy. Just dandy. And could you stop looking at me? I mean, I know it's hard. I see. Well, <laughs> I'm here if you need me. Thank you. Anyway, there's no option to actually walk the dog, so we need the dog to have a reason to want to go out. And that's why we have those diuretic pills. Yeah. You might see where this is going. Could I feed Modi another treat? Sure. Here, take another. I have plenty. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. So, what you want to do, you want to mix the pill with the bone. Don't do this at home, kids. Don't give your dog pills that aren't prescribed. Okay, I put the pills in the dog biscuit. You said right in Shanti's ear. And now, um, oh yeah, we can't actually drag this biscuit to her. You don't uh, use items like that in this game, weirdly enough. Here, boy! Go get it. And now the doggy has to pee. Oh, Moti, now? I just took you out an hour ago. Well, you're going to have to wait. I have my hands totally full. Unless... Rosa, would you mind taking Moti for a walk? If you're going to be friends, this is a good opportunity for you to bond. Oh, sure. I don't mind at all. Thank you so much. Moti gets cranky when he doesn't get his way. Just take him to the park until he goes. It shouldn't take long. Aww. Right. Here you go, boy. You're drugging innocent dogs now? It's only a mild diuretic. It won't hurt him. And you're the one in such a damn hurry. Alright. Point taken. Hey there, Bright Eyes. It's me again. Are... are you him? No, I'm not, but I've brought some friends. Say hi to the kids, sweetheart. Um, hi. I don't, I don't think, think she, she wants to see me. Sure she does. Go on, kid. Tell Ellie how much you want to see her. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Great to meet you. See? I don't, I don't believe, believe you. you. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. She needs your help. Help? See the dog over there? The Boston, Boston Terrier? Terrier? Good, good. You know your breeds. This Boston Terrier is not feeling too well. I was hoping that you could take a look at him. I... Yes. Yes, yes I can. I know a lot about dogs. So we heard. That's why we came to you. But they won't let me help them. They always run away. This one won't. Go on. The dog needs you. Moti's a good boy. So this is your dog, huh? Um, yeah, sort of. Hi, little guy. What's your name? <laughs> right. Are you the cutest little thing? Hmm, your ears look okay. No signs of inflammation. Now I'm just going to open your mouth. That's... odd. I don't feel any breath. I don't feel anything. I... Oh. I'm sorry. I remember. I'm dead. Yep. I killed myself. I had no choice. Can you tell us what happened? My friends and I, we played a game. A Ouija board. We thought it would be fun. And you called something? Yes. He called himself the Deacon. It's... kinda hazy now. But I remember his voice in my head. Screaming. What did he say? I don't know. It didn't make any sense. He just kept asking me to help him. But he wouldn't say how. I tried ignoring him. But he just got louder and louder until I took the pills and- Shh. It's over now. I know. So what now? Now? Now, we're going to send you...
where you need to go. Here, take this and hold on tight. You ready? I guess so. Good. Now pull. Yeah, you and me both. Ow. Hello? Yeah, hi! I'm not sure if we've met. I'm Rosangela. I know! You brought the dog to me! You brought me back to my senses. And then you brought me here. Thanks so much! So, are you ready to... well, you know. Am I ready to die? Well, yeah. Sorry, I'm kinda new at this. That's okay. I'm gonna make it easy for you. Just... tell me what to do. Just head towards that light. The light. Right. Like every cliché in the book. You think I'll see Joanne over there? Positive response. Sure you will. Fantastic. And hey, you'll make sure Susan's okay, right? Sure. Well, here goes. See ya. See ya. Ugh. You're awake. That didn't take too long. She just went. She seemed happy about it. Yeah, sometimes you'll get easy ones. The ones who are all too happy to move on. Others, well, you'll see. Anyway, let's get this dog back before your neighbor calls the police. Our work is not over yet. No siree. She is so going to kill me. Just a minute. Oh. Oh, there you are. I was just about to go to bed. I'm sorry we took so long. Not to worry. Did you have fun, Moti? Did you have fun? <coughs> of course. Well, good night, Rosa. Thanks again for helping me out. And Shanti's nice. Strange lady. Anyway, let's go back in here. And hopefully we've got uh, all the... everything we need to get Joey. the last of what conversation is it? here. Let's talk some more about Auntie Lauren. Like I said, kid, later. We've got stuff to do first. No, aw. I'd like to talk about... Don't you let... You destroyed her life. Oh, whoops. Yeah, yeah, I got enough of that from your aunt. Hey! Oh, shut up. You Blackwells and your goddamn self-pity. All I hear is, poor us, poor us, I'm sick of it. Ever think about what it was like for me? One minute I was breathing, and the next, pow, dead. I was a ghost, forced to haunt a complete stranger. I had no idea what was going on. You'd think that someone up there would have told me what to do, but no. I was dead, cold, alone, and scared out of my mind. Nobody could see me. Nobody could hear me. Nobody except old Patty Cakes Blackwell, and she didn't want to admit I was there. So don't you dare lecture me, sweetheart. You don't know from nothing. I... Forget it. Let's just concentrate on the case. Oh, I got the achievement. Nice. Okay. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. Just in time. So... Are you coming? Yeah, sure. From what we've heard, the deacon haunts Susan when she's sleeping, and since it's late at night, she'll be sleeping now. So let's go find him and take care of him. So back to the hospital. Please be advised as visiting hours are now over. Oh well, looks like we have to wait until tomorrow. No can do, toots. Remember what she said? The deacon comes to her at night when she's sleeping. Waiting until tomorrow won't do us any good. What? You think we can just waltz right into Susan's room? Sure. How? Improvise, sweetheart. That's what this gig is all about. So yeah, if we try to just walk past the guy, he won't let us in because of, uh, visiting hours. But let's take a look at this. Looks like a fuse box. Judging by the flickering lights, it must be broken. Hmm. You need a key to open it. 
So if we fill up with the fuse box, then the guard might come over here and get distracted, and then we can walk past him. But we need a key to the fuse box. The keys are right here. Some small keys. One of them is labeled FB. I assume that means fuse box. No, he's not just going to let us have him, so we have to wait fuse until he's box distracted. Key? I could probably do something with this. So wait until Joey wanders over and then the guy's distracted, you can take the key. So we have the key now. So you want to be uh, pretty quick with this. Open the fuse box. Do that. No, hide, hide, hide. Now you you better find a place. Yeah, I, uh, I'm just skipping past his uh, dialogue because you gotta hurry here. So when you kind of have a shadow see over Rosangela, you can now go. And we've done it. She's asleep. Yeah, like a baby. It won't be long. Before what? Before that. Please, please, can't you help me? Please, I don't know what to do. I don't want to burn. Please, the others are gone. You're the only one. Please, you can't hear me here, but you can hear me in your dreams. Please. Wake, Wake up, and up and help me! This guy is annoying. Just pathetic loser who doesn't care about anybody else but himself. So, uh, let's interject. Hey! Ignore them, Susan. Listen to me. Help me. Please! I'm talking to you, clown shoes. You're... You're talking to me? Yeah, so can you calm down long enough to tell me what's going on? I... I can't. You're like me. What do you mean? Dead. Like me. Wait a minute. Just a goddamn minute. You know you're dead? Yes. Well, that certainly saves time. We can help you. Here, grab a hold of this. No. Get that away from me. What the hell is wrong with you? You need saving. We're here to save you. What's the problem? I can't. What are you so scared of? You're stuck, right? We can help you move on. No. I don't, I don't want, want to. to. You don't want to? No, I... I'm afraid. Oh, you're afraid, are you? You believe this guy? Now, this is an achievement you can get here. I didn't get it last time. Basically, if you let Joey handle it, Joey will uh, grab this guy by the collar and just punch him in the face repeatedly until he agrees. And that is very, very, very satisfying. But, it's an achievement for doing this non-violently. But yeah, as you'll find out in the series, ghosts can uh, sort of cause pain to each other. Not really hurt, since there's no bodies to hurt, but uh, can cause pain. So, let's talk to the ghost, to the deacon. What do you want? Safety. Sanctuary. It's following me. Waiting. Watching. Trying to take me. But it hasn't caught me yet. Not yet. Yeah, whatever. This guy's off his nut. Let me handle this baby doll. I know how to speak to spooks like this. Sorry, no can do. Don't let Joey take over. What hasn't caught you? It. It. I see it everywhere. In every shadow. In every corner. Why is it after me? Why? The soft touch ain't gonna cut it, sweetheart. You're too green. Let me show you how it's done. No, we can't. Who is after you? It. It. Haven't you ever seen him? Forget it, kid. He isn't listening. We're wasting our time. He knows he's dead. We don't need kid gloves to handle this. Let me take over. Sure. Do it your way. All right, Mac. Spill. 
You've scared these girls literally to death, and I want to know why. What are you so afraid of? I... I don't want to burn! Burn? Oh, oh, I get it. You think you're going to hell. The devil himself. He told me. Please don't make me go. You're scared of the devil, huh? Yes! Yeah, well, I don't see any devil. There's just you and me. And you know what? I'm worse than any devil you'll ever see. Hey! I've been doing this for 40 years, bucko. Every ghost I meet goes to their final rest one way or the other. You're scared? I don't give a rat's ass. Two people are dead because of you. So take the damn tie and let's get this over with. No! You can't make me. Don't make me burn, please! Did they do this wrong? Hurts, don't it? How? Ghosts aren't supposed to feel pain, but I've learned some tricks. Now take the damn tie. Joey, stop it. So, okay, I think we can still salvage this. So let's give her a chance. You want to handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. Um, uh, try and give hope. I know a safe place. You can hide there. Really? Where is it? Not far, but you'll have to trust us. Trust you? Why should I trust you? Um, because you're great experience, because you care about others. No, he doesn't. Because nobody else will help. Because nobody else has offered to help you before, right? Yeah. You ask and ask for help, but nobody answers, right? No. Nobody answers. Well, we have. We're gonna help you. Has anybody else said the same? No. No, they haven't. I think... Oh, I'm so tired of running. If you say you can help me, I believe you. What needs to be done? Just listen to my friend. Here, just take the tie. I think we did it. Let's see if I got the achievement. You know what to do. I can't believe she pulled that off. Yes. At least she didn't Ow. get to see him punch the guy once, at least. You were right. I feel safe. Are you ready? Yes. I really think so. It's really nice out here. Almost like... Like... At last, I have found you. No! You lied to me! What? It's here! You lied! What's that? Oh, crap! <laughs> Joey? Joey! Get me out of here! Stay away. STAY AWAY! There is nowhere to go. You cannot return to the mortal world. You can only go through me. Accept the punishments for your sins, and come with me. Help me, please! You brought me here! You have to save me! You have to! Fool, no one can save you now. I'll give you a moment to prepare for the eternity to come, but then you are mine. Uh oh, this is an odd turn of events, and something we'll never see again through the entire series, though this will be sort of more explained as to what's going on here in a later game. I forget which one, I think it's actually the last one, but uh, this will be explained. So you get a helpless response, confused response, straight denial. This is not happening. Please! You've, You've got, got to do something! So what can we do? What is that thing? I... don't know! It haunted my dreams when I was alive, and wouldn't leave me alone after death. And now, there's no place left to run. Is this Mephistopheles, or what? What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. 
Used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. Interesting. So what can I do? What does he want? He wants me. I don't know why. See, so we have a very Faustian situation here. So uh, here's what you want to do. Go back to your notebook. We have the Deacon's flask there. Oh. Matthew gets here to ask him about the flask. What is again. that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Used to keep whiskey. Oh, okay, never mind. Maybe we have to talk to the demon. Uh, excuse me. Converse with me not. I shall give him time to prepare himself for the eternity to come. But then, he is mine. How did you get here? What is here? It is but an abstract concept to one such as I. I move at the power of thought, at the speed of death. Once my business is concluded, I shall trouble you no more. Why are you after this man? For his sins. All this time. He has not renounced them. Even after these many years of death, he still carries them with him. Interesting. Can't you just let him go? He has killed many with his madness. His sins weigh him down even as we speak. Ask yourself, does he deserve mercy? Ah, uh, yes. Yes? You may think so. But your heart does not believe it. You have witnessed the results of his actions with your own eyes. Okay, so I think now... Here we go. Deacon's flask, Deacon's sins. The Deacon is carrying his sins, and the Deacon is carrying his flask. Could this be symbolic? So, let's ask him. Get rid of that flask. Huh? Your flask! Get rid of it! My flask? Why? Just do it! But, but I can't! Why not? Because it's my flask! You want to be free of that demon? Trust me. Well, okay. You no longer carry your sins with you, dead one, but they still taint this place. That is not enough to save you. Well, luckily we have a spiritual realm rock right here. So let's destroy this thing once and for all. Can I actually use the rock? Please, help! It's not letting me... Oh, there we go. Just a really weird hitbox. Pick up the flask. There's nothing really special about it except that it belonged to a ghost. It's kind of vibrating. Do we pick it Beware, up? mortal! The sins this man carried with him are still tainting this place. Touch them, them and they will take you as well. Okay. I am content with taking my quarry, but I have no claim on you. Take this man's sins upon yourself, and I shall be forced to take you as well. You do not want that, and neither do I. Well, let's just do the smart thing. It is done. The sins have been abolished from this place. And my claim on you, dead one, is gone. Move on in peace, and be troubled no more. He's gone? I think so. He's gone. I'm, I'm free of him. I'm really free. All this time, it's all so clear to me now. Like my head was full of cobwebs, and now they're gone. I... All those people who died... They killed themselves because of me. Uh, let's agree. I don't want to give him any more mercy. Yes. I didn't know what I was doing, but that doesn't excuse it. I spent most of my life as a drunk, and most of my death as a murderer. I was worried about going to hell before. Maybe I'm okay with that now. Now that I know I might deserve it. 
It sounds like a deserving response. You seem strangely happy about it. I'm just happy to know. You see, I was a religious man once. Before disease took my wife away, and I took to the bottle. If I'm going to hell, well then maybe I can still spread the word of God there. Do some good for once. Well, this is it. Goodbye, and thanks. Go away. Thank you. Jesus Christ, kid, you alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What took you so long? It got a little complicated. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. Let's get out of here. I need some air. I know the perfect place. He's at peace now, I guess. Wherever he is. I saved him, I think. Gave him some hope, at least. He's getting no more than he deserves. No more than any of us deserve. I guess. I really wished I could have popped him one more time. <laughs> he really hacked me off. Is that your answer to everything? Don't you start judging me. You managed to pull it off. I'm impressed. I'm just... glad you're okay. Joey? Yeah? Why did Auntie stop? Stop what? Stop doing this. This ghost saving or whatever it is we do. Oh. Ah. It was you. Me? She wanted to take care of you. Wanted to do it right, she said. Stop listening to me. Stop saving the ghosts. Just put all her effort into taking care of you. And then she fell into that weird coma. Yeah. I see. I guess there's a lesson in that. Is there? Yeah. Yeah, so from the looks of it, if you uh, stop doing your spirit medium stuff, then you go crazy. Well, that sucks. Anyway, that was The Blackwell Legacy, a short beginning to a wonderful, wonderful series. This uh, game, I remember, it kind of got me hooked, and like, I remember, like, I had the whole series before I even had played any of them, so I decided, you know what, I'm, well, I was going through uh, my games in alphabetical order, and this came up naturally, <laughs> so, uh, I kind of uh, played one per day, because they're pretty short, and it just blew me away, especially the very, very ending, which we won't get to for quite some time, but we'll get to eventually. But all in all, this game does keep getting better. Like, this first game is pretty much just a an introduction to what the rest of the story is going to be. The next game in the series is Blackwell Unbound, and it goes in a direction that's a bit different. Oh, was Angela Blackwell. Yeah, I'll uh, gush over her quite a bit as we go along. Oh, and she played two characters. And uh, there's someone here you might recognize soon. Not you. Where is it? There's uh, one person that uh, we all know and love. Who uh, does at least one voice in every game. Cisco Gonzalez is the hospital guy. Yeah, the guy who did a Golden Wake, who did the whole Ben Jordan series. The guy's pretty, pretty neat. And I uh, even uh, contacted me to tell me about uh, Shardlight, another game of his, which I will play on this channel, as well as another game that he has upcoming. I don't think it's out yet, but it will be. And then I'll play that one too. When was there a Bob? I don't remember there being a Bob in this game. Am I mistaken? Oh yeah, on the telephone. Bob, they gave us the job. Ha. <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't even know I was one. Wait. Alright. So let's see if I got one more achievement. Special activation code, bright eyes. Oh. That pretty much uh, just activates the special features. There's hundreds of confused spirits out there, sweetheart. And there's nobody else who can help them. There's just us. 
bestowing eternity on every sob story out there, one lost soul at a time, whether we want to or not. Yeah, we kind of have to. Crowd control, meaning I never talk to Joey in front of people, and ah, uh, I hate it, I hate it, when a game just closes itself after you end it. Why doesn't it just go back to the beginning? I don't know. Anyway, there's nothing too interesting about the uh, special features. It's just, you know, concept art and that kind of thing. And there's one achievement I don't have, but it's just playing the game through with both commentary. There's the original commentary from when the game was originally released, and then like updated con uh, commentary for sort of the uh, updated release, I guess. Anyway, so that was the Blackwell Legacy. Let me know what you thought. Let what you uh, think of Joey and Rosangela, and I look forward to sharing more of their adventures with you in the future. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.